So first we're going to talk about since last Worlds. Of course, uh, we did have Antonio from the community. Thank you, Antonio, if you're here tonight. Uh, do these awesome sketches of the uh, Worlds winners from last year. So you guys will actually be seeing those cards appearing in uh, marketing cards and Black Panther boosters coming soon. Uh, we've done all kinds of awesome things since last Worlds we talked to you guys about. We've provided more organized play. We've got new formats like Supercharged Sealed. Anybody been enjoying that here today, this weekend? We've got uh, all kinds of new uh, market research that we've been doing. We've got two new Heroclix interns that we've had introduce themselves to you guys, ask you guys different questions, give us some feedback so we could make some choices on things like Lantern Legacy, which we're excited to talk more about tonight, and some other fun choices, getting characters and representation you guys want to see into the game. Of course, we released our first Hero Glow set. Oh, Brian, backspace. <laughs> soon, soon. We released our first Glow in the Dark, guys. We released our first Flocked Kong. And we've got a lot of other cool things coming soon. If you guys saw the Sandman figures in the case, those guys have got a sandy, gritty base to them. It's really awesome. We're looking to do more fun things like that and just experiment more with these figures. And then, of course, over 10,000 starters last year made it into the hands of new players to begin their Hero Clicks journey. We had way more teams sign up for Team Worlds this year. We're seeing a lot more of you guys, and we're excited to just keep growing this community and this game with your help. So thank you guys so much for everything. Brian, next slide. <laughs> All right, what? Oh, does that work now? Okay, yes. Oh, this is, this is much better. Dial H, guys, let me know if I cause any, any problem here. All right, so we've got looking ahead. Black Panther comes out next month. Uh, please look forward to some unboxing videos from some of our favorites coming soon. Uh, we have got new organized play formats. We talked about Supercharged Sealed, and we're talking about more things like that every day, just trying to come up with more fun ways to engage Hero Clicks besides just your normal modern. Of course, don't worry, there'll be plenty more organized play events for modern constructed events as well. We've got a, a dedication to improve quality assurance. We have been zooming in on this recently, especially. Um, we know that we made some promises to you guys, especially at Gen Con, that were more detailed, so please take a look back at that fan app if you want to hear some of the specifics. But we are absolutely zoning in on that and making sure that we have an improvement in that area. We've got more organized play events and opportunities. A big shout out to Ryan, who's been doing a great job with organized play. If you guys haven't already connected with Ryan about OP and what you'd like to see at your stores, he is happy to talk about it and waiting to hear it. So please seek him out this weekend. Um, we have more accessories planned. If you guys saw some of uh, the single case displays we brought to Worlds last year, we know that those have gone around. We're looking at more fun ways that we can have our Heroclix displayed on the shelf. You guys, we have a really awesome kind of 3D printed display, testing out things like that that are in the case here and just trying to find more fun ways to display these guys at home. And then of course, more promos, exclusives, and prize support. And there are a couple guys up there that you will be seeing at conventions and uh, OP tournaments near you soon. Speaking of things we'll be seeing soon, Iconics has been busy. We have had so much great feedback from you guys on Iconics, all the awesome different things that we're putting into the line, all the ideas of what we could put into the line. It's been really challenging for us to try and focus on what we want to do, what's exciting. And on top of Marvel and DC, we're excited to bring some other guys to the mix for Iconics. So I know that we've all been seeing the Beetlejuice in the case. That movie has come out this month. It's really fun if you haven't gotten a chance to see it. You can finally bring Beetlejuice to the table. We also have Dungeons and Dragons joining Hero Clicks for the first time. We've got three different Dungeons and Dragons iconic sets lined up for you. But uh, we probably want to see some details on that. So the next slide here, we've got the Eye of the Beholder box for the Beholder Iconics coming soon. You can see on the back there a little teaser that it also comes with a bag of holding and a treasure chest object. It'll be really awesome to incorporate into your games. But what oh what does the Beholder do, I wonder? Well, let's take a look. With an awesome design that is kind of mimicking the player handbook itself, we have the Beholder who brings D20 gameplay to the Heroclix table. Every Heroclix Iconics Beholder will come with a D20 in the box for you to use these terrifying ray assortment against your opponents. <laughs> the whole back of the card there has all kinds of crazy rays that can happen with those D20 rolls. 
I'll give you guys a second to, to snap your pictures. At 300 points for the full dial of this beholder, he could be the entire force that you're fighting against. All right, let's keep it moving on to the next. Valentine's Day last year was a lot of fun, or this year, I guess. Earlier this year, we had Harley and Ivy, and we're happy to do it again this time with Cupid, Deadpool, and Cable. Get a Valentine for that special Heroclix player in your life or gift yourself. Uh, we got a lovely two from little Valentine design on the inside of the box. Love the way that the graphic design team has been playing with Iconics and really expressing themselves. Um, and you can see we've got a Deadpool who is all too happy to embrace the spirit of the holiday and Cable is, is not having any of it. Let's take a look at maybe what the uh, Deadpool does, shall we? So Deadpool, of course, uh, we, we had to make the card like he was handing out one of those school valentines. You know, a little, little cutout card that he puts on the desk. A lot of little touches to the card here, a lot of little quotes. Had a lot of fun putting this one together with the team. Even the little things like all the, uh, the power dials being little hearts. A lot of fun to kind of reimagine how we can make these different Iconics projects kind of themed to the holiday, themed around the characters. And we'll save uh, teasing the cable and the trick arrow that come in there for a little bit later. Moving right on for more iconic spoilers. We've got all kinds of things coming soon, and you may have seen some of these at the last show, but I think there's going to be one or two surprises up on the screen for you guys. A couple iconics that I've been waiting forever to introduce to the game. We've got a lot of exciting Iconics slated for next year, including, of course, more first appearance, a trip into the Batcave, the Heralds of Galactus, and maybe even a little more. But that's enough about Iconics for now. Let's get into Temples. So, of course, we had Masters of Time come out just recently. We've been having a lot of fun with these dinosaurs, the time travel, the Jurassic boosters, the Jurassic Battle Royales, seeing all this awesome, awesome, crazy characters on the table, just seeing these big dinos moving around. I mean, I know the Kongs was one thing, but just the table like looks so cool with all these dinosaurs fighting. I don't know if anybody got to participate in a Jurassic Battle Royale or walk by those today. They looked crazy. I hope, I want to get in, I know Ryan got to have some fun playing in one. Uh, they look like a blast. <laughs> yeah, he did great too. Um, they're so fun to put together. I mean, this is just one of those sets where the whole time that we were coming up with the theme, it felt like it kept building itself. Like we just wanted to do as much time travel stuff as we could squish in, as many different Batmans from different eras as we could get. And um, we had a lot of fun putting it together. It sounds like you guys have been really enjoying it and uh, we can't wait to do more really just crazy sets with new themes like this. Speaking of new themes, Black Panther is finally going to be the actual just centerpiece theme of a set. I know we had the Black Panther Avengers and the Illuminati, which was a busy, busy set, as busy as the name. A lot of fun, well loved, but Black Panther is coming back in a big way. And this time with a little bit of that Wakandan magic, that vibranium that we're so excited about. Vibranium enters the game as sculpted blocking terrain. Look at this 3D vibranium ore. We can interact with it in all kinds of fun ways to generate vibranium tokens on our force. The vibranium ore, sometimes you're just mining it for some ore, sometimes you destroy it and take the shattered ore and put it on your sideline. And you can use that ore to pay for all kinds of awesome effects on characters in this set, like Shuri. So Shuri here, of course, takes that Wakandan vibranium and she forges it into weapons and armor that you can equip on your team by using these vibranium tokens. Really interesting ways to kind of change things on the go during the game, equipping new things to characters that are unequipped, to just give them that damage or defense bonus in the middle of the fight. But that's not the only way that we can use Vibranium. Midnight Angel is another awesome example of a way that you can use those Vibranium tokens. Instead of just using one here and there for equipment, you could save up four Vibranium tokens 
and remove them from your sideline when you would have uh, friendly characters with a conda keyword. Um, sorry, <laughs> you can remove it from your sideline to replace uh, this character with the Midnight Angel. So you're calling in more Midnight Angels, basically building this force out of the vibranium is a really cool flavor way that uh, Shuri and other Wakandan scientists can contribute to your force with vibranium. On the other side of Black Panther, we've got Collector's Trove. Collector's Trove is an awesome set, jam-packed full of all kinds of objects, equipment, things that the collector himself would love to put in a case. A couple of teasers on this slide here for you guys, including some of those powerful objects and some characters I don't think that we've shown yet. That Cosmic Rider is in the case if you guys wanted to take a look. We're showing him off today. As well as that Thanos who, yes, that Thanos is a common. So you'll be able to pull that guy pretty easily. It'll be a lot of fun to see him, especially in pulp formats. But let's take a look at Collector's Trove and maybe look at some, uh, some spoilers. Well, we have one-shots coming in Collector's Trove. And I know that we've teased one shots with the Tamimai Hammer at the last fan appreciation, but we thought we'd give you guys a full look at a new one shot card called Evil Entwinement. Got an interesting little keyword there next to one shot. Gives you a hint of something that you might see a lot of characters interacting with in the set. And I don't know who that could be on the left, but they're certainly up to no good. One shots are powerful abilities that you can use once per game. Once they are used, you flip them over to the back side of the card that has the rules on the back that you can see on the right to indicate that they have been used and your opponent will score the points of used one shots at the end of the game. They are normal sized cards, yes. Okay, next. We have Beta Ray Bill. I think somebody specifically said in a comment somewhere, I hope that guy's a super rare when we teased the uh, sculpt of this guy earlier. So I thought it would be a fun one to share with you guys today. Beta Ray Bill is one of, the, one of those characters that's really exciting with that really unique, iconic equipment that we felt like just had to go into Collector's Trove. He's got a lot going on. I love I already hear all the, the team building conversations happening right now. <laughs> Feel free to drink it and take a picture. Every super rare character in Collector's Trove has a piece of equipment in the set that is linked to them in a cool way. So of course you'll be able to get Stormbreaker, Mjolnir, and many other awesome equipments in this set. Next. Spider-Verse is the set after that. There's a character on there that I know people have been asking us for over and over again. Uh, I don't know that we were sure we'd ever put up, but there is, in fact, the wall. Makes his Heroclix appearance, finally. Spider-Verse is an awesome set where you get to pull all these different versions of Spider-Man and all different kinds of Spider-Man villains and just make one really awesome Spidey-packed set. We're really excited for this one. Um, we've had a lot of fun imagining all the different Spider-Man variants that we could squeeze in here. One of my favorites is the Spider-UK standing on his little teacup saucer. And any fans who watch the, uh, the Spider-Verse anime series will certainly find a lot to like in this set. So let's take a deeper dive on Spider-Verse. Oh, I'm sorry. Smash and Destroy. <laughs> Of course, Smash and Destroy, that's actually the next set. I think we didn't do a logo reveal on this one yet um, at the Gen Con Fan Appreciation. So showing you guys for the first time, Smash and Destroy, we are going to be breaking the city. We're going to be interacting with terrain in new ways, and we're going to have all new effect terrain, special terrains, and all kinds of awesome things for you guys to put on the maps and destroy on the map. We're looking really forward to this one. I know I think we've shown the old juggernaut smashing through the wall. But a few of these other sculpts are new. Uh, the Red Harpy, to me, one of my favorites here. Just kind of leaning over on the edge of the, the city skyline, ready to just get down there and tear it up. 
Then after Smash and Destroy is a set that we know that you guys were asking for for a long time, and we are so happy to bring to you Lantern Legacy. Lantern Legacy is a spiritual successor for us to War of Light. We want to pack this thing full of lanterns, full of different colors, full of constructs, and uh, maybe even some lanterns that we've never seen before. We've got people wearing two rings, wielding the power of multiple lanterns, and the return of Hero Glow. And let me tell you, Hero Glow on these glow-in-the-dark lantern figures looks great. Uh, one of my favorite here, when we were first testing Hero Glow, we tested on the, uh, the Green Lantern Batman from Batman Team Up. And that was when we knew that Green Lantern Glow had to happen. Lantern Legacy is going to have some really cool Green Lantern figures on some awesome Green Lantern bases. So this is a really, really sneak <laughs> preview for you guys. This is just about locked in and not quite final. But uh, this is absolutely going to be one of those awesome Hero Glow Lantern pieces from this set. Trying as hard as we can to give you guys a sneak of what we're up to right now that we're going to be bringing to your guys' hands next year. And I guess one last thing about uh, Lantern Legacy. You probably want to hold on to your rings. We had a lot of fun bringing the rings back with Batman Team Up. And we're keeping the rings around with more ways to use them, more ways to get them, and all new rings. We're really excited for Lantern Legacy. And remember, Lantern Legacy is one of those that we just put our feedback out there. We, we listened to you guys. We wanted to know what you wanted. And this was overwhelmingly something people were asking for. More big, crazy Lantern sets from DC. So we're happy to deliver. We're looking really forward to bringing this one to you guys and to the next sets that we get to make, listening to the feedback from you guys and just bring really awesome stuff to the game. And I think that's just about all we've got for today. Ah, thank you guys so much. Thank you all for coming. Remember, you guys are really, uh, the energy and the feedback and the excitement we get from you guys makes us more and more excited to make cooler and cooler stuff like this. So thank you so much. We have something to give to every one of you guys who came here for fan appreciation today. And uh, we are ready to hand that to you guys on your way out the door. You can pick it up on your way out. Everybody will get something. So thank you guys so much for coming. We